Hello friends, this is Samuel once again from Sony Tech. Okay, so welcome to our mini bootstrap project. So in this one, uh, we'll be creating mini projects using bootstrap. And for this one, I'm going to be cloning or developing the University of Ghana's uh, Sakai LMS student profile. So this thing you see here. So since we'll be using bootstrap, so you head over to getbootstrap.com and search for drop down menu. Okay, so uh, basically, what you have to do is to copy this uh, code you see and paste it inside of your browser. Okay, so I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so now I'm going to wrap all of this inside of a nav tag. So I'm going to cut and wrap itself a nav tag and do some modifications. So now I'm going to add a class of text and text and and. Uh, Oh, so open this for live server. Okay, so it's here, it works fine. Okay, so now let's jump back to our code. I'm going to change this A tag to an image tag. So I think I don't I will not need this anymore. An image tag, I believe it's a self-closing tag. Okay, so now let's add some classes. Nice. Okay, so nice. So all I did was to indent the code. I'm going to get rid of this drop down link as well and add some inline style. So I'm going to do style and uh, let's add border 1px solid and this color code for my CSS. Uh, okay, so this one, so copy and I'm going to paste this color code here. Also, I'm going to add a height. I'm going to add, give it a height of uh, 7 rem and give it a width of 7 rem as well. Okay, so now let's see what we have. Okay, so it's fine. Let's add a case of pointer. Case of pointer. Okay, so nice. Okay, so we can add one more thing. What can we add? Okay, so now we're going to modify this a bit. So now let's see what we have. Okay, so it works fine. And for Sakai, we have another image in here with profile and some name. Okay, so now let's do this real quick. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this anchor, anchor tag and uh, I'm going to put an image tag here. I'm going to give it a source of Sony dot a jpeg and uh, i'm going to delete this and grab all the styles here so i'm going to copy this and uh, paste it here let's see let's see okay so now let's add our uh, class so let's add a class and let's do around it circle and uh, let's do text start. Okay. Okay, so it's fine. But I think you have to give some margin and padding. Or better still, so you can even reduce this to see uh, six frame and okay, so six. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's give margin. So margin M3, this should be fine. Okay, so nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I think we are good to go. Okay, so now let's add a span tag and time I type in. So span tag, and let's do see John, okay, all caps, John, do. So nice. So John do to let's give John do a margin. So John do let's do margin. Oh, uh, or no, let's use padding instead. So padding on the left or right. So three, and uh, let's increase the font size to uh, three as well. And I think John do should be fine. Yes. So John do is fine. Okay, so nice, nice, nice. And let's check Sakai one more time. 
Saka has this proof out in here. Okay, okay, and after the proof out, there's a line break. Okay, so nice. Okay, so what can we do? So now let's put another link and do proof out. Okay, so let's check our work. So proof out, okay. I think proof out we need some styling. So let's give proof out a class and we can do margin. So say four and you can play around with the margin and padding. And let's change the font size to three. Okay, so okay, so it's fine. And let's introduce bootstraps. Uh, oh, I see, I see. Okay, so I think we can bring this out of the image link card and uh, let's paste it here. And let's introduce the line break. So bootstrap has a line break, so we can do the uh, drop drop down hyphen divider so this should be it so now let's check wow we're making progress right okay so i'm going to remove this classes and introduce my class i'm going to add a class called color and i'm going to get rid of this i'm going to press alt and alt here alt here alt alt and change this to color and i think i will add to ms4 and change the font size to three for all let's see what we can achieve okay so all oh, it's fine i think you almost done with our markup okay okay yeah. so you almost done with our markup so i'm going to uh, add some css so explain the css Okay, so I'm going to paste this here. So I just pasted this li dot color, and uh, what I'm trying to do here is to change the color of whatever I have here. Uh, okay, so this this thing is so all the items in the class of profile of color. So I targeted the e with the drop down item color, and uh, this and on hover to the color should be seen. So this is what I targeted. So just this li with a class of color and also the drop down the divider and all its uh, associated child or children. Okay, so I think it's 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 quite understandable and self-explanatory. Okay, but you see with Sakai's main uh, when you hover it has an underline, so you can do that too. Okay, so now let's do that. Okay, so let me check, cross check. Okay, so now let's add the Uber class, so li dot color and uh, Uber let's see class elements. Okay, so text equation underline and let's see. So, oh, I'm not sure if it's putting this. <laughs> Okay, so one more time. Okay, so now let's add case uh, pointer. Okay, so let's uh, right click and add a Uber to this one too. I want to use my developer tools. I want to press on this and select to get the right class. I want to click on add. I want to grab this. Please follow along closely. And back to my VS Code, paste and add a Hoover to Hoover and uh, do text decrease underline. What's wrong? Okay, let me just copy this. So, copy and then I'm going to paste this here. So, we're still not working. Don't worry, I'll try. Okay, so now let's check. Okay, so everything works fine. Okay, so guys, thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a like. Please comment, share, subscribe.
coming to, I know your thoughts. Sometimes life ever takes time to be new. That's why I was having problems. I thought I was having trouble. Oh, I just realized something. I didn't add the index number. But as a challenge, you can add it to it. You can add a span tag or any item element and add some CSS in. Also, it is the, the some speed, the padding, is, the, there's lots of padding. So you can also play around with, with it. Okay, so thanks so much. See you in the next tutorial.